at this place. Ah, I knew this would be the place to, for me to find exactly what I was looking for. I mean, look at all these tools. Oh, hey, I didn't see you all there staring back at me on that screen. Wow, looks like some of you may be inside a house. Pretty cool. And there's others. You guys look like you're outside in a backyard. Wow, that's really green grass over there. Wait, who's in the bathroom? Haven't you heard of privacy? Well, anyways, I'm so excited to be here at VBS Workshop because I am searching for the most awesomest tool ever. You know, tools are pretty amazing things. I mean, if you think about it, they help us do really cool jobs, like a hammer. You know, hammers help us hammer nails into wood. Could you imagine if I used my hands to hammer and nails? Oh, that would hurt. Or a screwdriver. You know, screwdrivers help us screw in screws, twist them in really well into different objects. Now, if I use my hands, not only would my fingers hurt, but it would ruin my perfect manicure. Oh, anyway, sorry, I got distracted. Well, I am here at this VBS workshop, like I said, because I am looking for the most awesomest tool ever. And we know the tools are awesome. And this particular tool is so awesome, it's gonna give us the power to do hard things, to be brave, to have hope, and most importantly, to feel loved. You know, this tool is gonna be something that people would use every day. People need it, and they've been wanting it for like forever. And you know, I've been looking for this tool for a very long time, like my whole life, which is a very long time. And if I had this tool when I was little, you know, it would have been really great because it could have helped me get through hard things like math. <sighs> or it could have helped me be brave when I moved to a new town and I had to go to a new school and meet new friends and new people. And it really would have helped me to have hope when things just weren't going my way and everything felt wrong. And that's why I'm excited to be here at this VBS workshop, because I heard all about it, how this is the best place to be, to build, to imagine, to be creative. And a place like that has to have the very best stuff and the very best tools. After all, it's in its name, VBS, very best stuff. All right, well, I better get started and get ready to search for this amazing tool. Oh, hi. Hello. Uh, excuse me. Hi? Duh! <sighs> you scared me. Oh, well, sorry. I did say hello. You're a little distracted. Um, anyway, my name is Kate. I'm Kate. How are you? Hello? Ah! What? You really need to stop doing that. Uh, well, I don't even know your name. I'm Kate. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, I'm Rachel. I'm Rachel, but you have a name tag. Oh, that must make you official. Oh, I have so many questions for you. Do you work here at VBS Workshop? Do you know all the power tools here? And are you in charge? Uh, yes. Slow down. Yes. Kind of yes and no. Uh, no, you don't work at VBS Workshop? No, I do. I know most of the tools here, and no, I don't. I'm not in charge, but I work for the big guy up there. Hmm. I'm going to be super serious with you right now, Kate. Okay. I am formally and officially asking for your help. Do you accept these terms? Uh, sure. Yeah, I'd be happy to help. Oh, yes! Woohoo! Come on and dance with me! Ooh. I'm so happy! Yeah? Yeah? Yes! Okay, yes. so uh, why are we doing the happy dance? Because you're gonna help me! Oh, yeah, help you with what? Find a power tool. The most awesomest tool ever! The most awesomest tool ever? Yes. It's, it's a really strong, powerful tool. Yeah, I can, I can help you with that. Awesome! So, what are we looking for? Well, it's got to be the most awesomest tool ever, okay. which means it has to have the power to help us through. Power to help us through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, a lot of power tools help you through, but we got to be a little bit more specific. Like, what are you looking for? 
So this power tool's gotta help us through, which means it needs to help us be brave. It needs to help us get through hard things. It needs to change us. And it needs to help us have hope. Most importantly, it needs to help us know that we're loved no matter what. Got something like that around here? Yeah, I think we do. Oh, that's awesome. I can't wait. And uh, it's not going to be around here. Okay, so where is it? It's actually in the back. Ah, all right. Let me go get it, okay? Okay. All right. This is going to be so exciting. I can't wait to see what it is. Maybe it's going to be really big. I got it. <gasps> You've got it. Oh, you know, hmm, it's not what I expected. I think I expected it to be more hammerier. Uh, I don't know if that's a word, but hey, um, or pointier. But you know, it's probably good that it doesn't have points because that would just be painful. It is pretty portable, you know, travel size tool. That's awesome. All right, so um, where do you plug it in? Oh, there's no plug. Oh, battery charged. Huh. Good thinking. I mean, this will be the most awesomest battery charge tool ever. There's no batteries either. No batteries. How do you charge this? Oh, I know. It's solar power. The sun. <laughs> it's actually not powered by the sun. It's powered by God. By God? By God. By God. Mm hmm I don't think I understand. Well, you said you wanted a tool that can help you through, help you have hope, help you be brave, and help you know you're loved, right? Yes. Well, that's it. Um, that, this is it? Mm-hmm. I mean, it just looks like a book to me. How does this have that much power, and how does it help us do all those things? Well, actually, God's power is not just the book. The book right there is the Bible, and the Bible is all about God's story. God's story about how he sent Jesus down to help love us. Jesus is an awesome guy. Jesus helps us have hope, helps us be brave, and helps us know we're loved no matter what. Well, that's awesome. That's exactly what the most awesomest tool ever has to do. Mm -hmm. And actually, the coolest thing ever is Jesus was actually sent down by God. Jesus was there to show us that we're loved, even show love to the people who might not have known it. And he did some amazing things. He fed a crowd of like a thousand people. He walked on water. He even raised people from the dead. No way. Mm -hmm. And he did it all because he had God's power inside of him. The biggest thing, though, is that he made sure we were loved no matter what. Um, yeah, like, how? Well, he actually died on the cross for us. And he came back three days later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he came back three days later to save our sins. So that means that we can hang out with him in heaven forever. Hmm. Actually, can I use that Bible real quick? Most yes. awesomest tool? Yes. It says... In John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believed in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Oh, so, so. now I get it. You do? Yeah, so God, he said these words, and he sent this uh, tool, and uh, yeah, no, I, I don't get it. Oh, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. You know what? I think we got to bring in Toolman Tim in here. Toolman Tim can help you with filling in some cracks that you might not understand too much. Oh, thank goodness for that. So, Toolman Tim, can you help us out? Oh, hey there. Sorry, I was just uh, working over here in the old machine shop. I'm Toolman Tim. Say, my friend Kate says that you might need a hand finding the right tool for the job. Well, you've come to the right place. So I hear that you're looking for a tool that will help you do things like uh, be brave and do hard things, have hope, and uh, oh yeah, know that you're loved all the time. Well, before we get to the tool you'll need, let me share a few important pieces of information with you. You see, before someone gives you a tool, it's a good idea to know what that tool is for. Like if you ever tried to use a saw as a screwdriver, well, you wouldn't get very far. Or if you tried to use a staple gun to shave your mustache, well, I'll tell you, my cousin Eddie tried that, and let's just say he was drinking cheeseburgers through a straw for a few weeks. 
Anyways, the point is, if you want to use a tool, you got to know what it's for. So the first thing you need to know is a little information about a guy named Jesus. Now, Jesus was a really important guy, probably the most important guy there ever was. And Jesus lived a real long time ago, about 2,000 years actually. But don't let that fool you. This guy was no fairy tale. He was as real as you or me. Now, here's the thing about Jesus. He wasn't any ordinary guy like me or Cousin Eddie. It turns out Jesus was the son of God. You know God, the guy that made everything there is? Well, Jesus was God's son. And here's the other thing, Jesus never sinned. Isn't that something? He never did anything that God didn't want him to. Imagine that. Not only that, but he was really, really good at loving people. He would spend almost all of his time going around and healing people of their sicknesses or helping blind people see or even bringing dead folks back to life. Now you might think that a guy like that would be surrounded by people who loved him. Oh sure, he had a handful of people who followed him around and learned how to live like him, but he also had a lot of folks who weren't too happy with some of the things that Jesus was doing. They didn't like that Jesus seemed to care more about loving God's people than he did about following some of their rules. They thought that Jesus didn't hang out with the right people, and they didn't like that Jesus said he was God's real and only son. So these people arrested Jesus and put him on trial, and they insisted that he was guilty, even though he wasn't. And they had him sentenced to die on a cross. Well, wouldn't you know it? Jesus let it happen. He didn't fight it or anything. And do you know why? Because he knew that you and me needed someone to take our sins on and be punished so that we don't have to. See, Jesus didn't do anything wrong, but you and I sometimes, well, we do, don't we? So when Jesus died, he offered to take all your sins and all of my sins on himself. Now you and I don't need to be worried about being punished for our sins because Jesus already took care of that. Amazing news, right? Now here's the crazy part. After Jesus died on the cross, his friends put him in a tomb in the ground. But just three short days later, the tomb opened up and Jesus walked out of there as alive as you or me. Do you know what that means? It means that Jesus is even stronger than death itself. He took our sins on himself and he came out victorious on the other side. Here's how the Bible puts it. In John 3.16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Do you believe that? I know I sure do. Boy, I need Jesus to save me from my sins because believe me, I ain't perfect. Just ask Cousin Eddie. Now you said you were looking for a tool. Well, here it is. That's right, the Bible. Here's the thing. Like I said, if you're gonna wanna know how to use a tool, you gotta know what it's for. And this tool is for learning the story of Jesus. Everything in this book ultimately comes down to who Jesus is and what he's done for us. And because Jesus took our sins on himself, he died on the cross and then rose from the dead. Well, that means that we don't have to be afraid anymore. In fact, this tool helps us do all kinds of things because of Jesus. We can be brave, we can do hard things, we can have hope. Oh, and uh, we can even know that we're loved all the time. I hope that helps out a little bit as you guys figure out exactly how to use this amazing tool that God has given us. Good luck, friends. Thanks, Tim. So, you got it? You got it? I got it. I totally understand now. Thanks, Tim. You totally understand like 100%? Yes. Like you have no questions? None whatsoever. Interesting, because Ice was saying a lot of the same things, and then he came in, and then you got it like 100%. No, you were very confused with me. I got it 100%. Right. Here, let me just show you. Okay. All right, so I'm going to need this. And I'm going to need oh, this. And of course, I'm going to need this, my laser. All right. So I want you guys to imagine that this represents us, this clear balloon. When God created us, he created us in his image, perfect. And he created us to be in this perfect relationship with him that was intimate and close. But we sin. We choose to do wrong things. We are selfish and we want things for ourselves and this sin enters our lives. And because of that sin, it means we're separated from God. And that's not what God wants for us. 
So he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for us, to take away our sins. Now this is my laser light, and it's going to represent, we'll put that there, Jesus' love and the power of his love. When Jesus chose to die on the cross, he chose to take away our sins. And when he did that, and he died there on the cross, the power of his love was so powerful. <laughs> it's going to happen here. <laughs> it took our sins away. And our sins popped right there. But the really cool thing is that Jesus didn't stay dead. He came back to life three days later. He was resurrected. And because of that love and because of that power, we can always know how much we're valued by God and how much he loves us. I have an idea. All right, I'm going to say Jesus' power helps me know I'm loved. And you guys come back with, go, Jesus. Are you ready? Here we go. Jesus' power helps me know I'm loved. Go, Jesus. All right, we got to do it just one more time. Jesus' power helps me know I'm loved. Go, Jesus. Awesome. So, what did you think? That was awesome. I mean, I'm still kind of confused how quickly you caught on after Tim's advice and not mine, but, you know, I mean. <laughs> I'm a sharp tool. Better luck next time. See you around. Wait, where are you going? Well, I need to go find an adapter. Adapter? Yes, you know, because I need to get all this Jesus power, plug it in right here, maybe plug it in right there. It's like a god adapter. A good adapter. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> this tool is going to be so awesome. It's going to make me a super builder. Wah! See ya. Uh, oh, boy. I think I need to help Rachel out filling in some more cracks with this whole understanding Jesus thing. Uh, I might have to... Oh, oh, no, Rachel, don't plug that in there. Uh, see you guys later.